Now, just before we start, I yeah. want to apologize. This is a recipe for country fried venison. Uh -huh. And I know I can't fool you, and I know I can't fool you, so I'm just right up front telling you, this is not venison, this venison. is beef. And it's you can, beef. It, Because it, it's kind of light colored. Yeah, it is. But I've been wanting to do this recipe for you for a long time. Uh -huh. You you grew up, just like I did, eating country fried, a chicken fried steak, they call it. Sure did. And some people call it country fried steak. Yeah. Well, that's what we're doing, except we're going to do it with venison. If you don't have venison, obviously you can do it with beef. Yeah. You know, but this, the, the, it's the same technique. But my, the way I do it's a little bit different. You're going to beat the fool out of that, I'm going to beat you? the fool out of this, but then after we get this meat cooked, then you know, we're going to make gravy, too. There's a little psychology that goes on here. Oh, this you, is fun. You know who she's imagining that is on that day? <laughs> You know, John, there's a bunch of people on a list that want your job. They all do. They all do. <laughs> you just beat the fool out of well, it. Well, listen, That's that is important because, uh, I mean, I don't like chicken fried steak where you got a lot of connective tissue right. in there. It's almost like a hair in well, my hand. Plus, hash. you want it tender. Yes, I do. Yeah. You want it tender. We're yeah. going to move this skillet right over here. Okay. Hopefully, this skillet is uh, going to be getting hot. Yeah. You want to double dip these. First oh, okay. thing you want to do, and I've taken flour and I like to put breadcrumbs in mine. Okay. I've taken flour and breadcrumbs, salt and pepper, little garlic, yeah. and a little smoked paprika. Now this is just optional, but it's and it's sweet. Look, well, John. Hey. Sweet, sweet paprika. Sweet smoke. Not hot chipotle. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh-huh. Dip them in the flour mixture oh, first. Before you go into the liquid. Yep. Dip them and, and in I, the flour mixture. And the liquid is buttermilk, I'm sure. It's buttermilk and eggs. That's but all that is. Okay. Now, if you really want to spice it up, you can put a little dark beer or ale in there, about half buttermilk, half, half uh, beer or ale. Yeah. Now, that'll make it layer pink. That'll swing. Then you want to dip it in the, in the egg mixture. Yeah. Like that. Then you put it back in the flour. And that is the double dip. That's the double dip, and that's okay. what makes all those crispy crunchies okay. on there. Okay, I see one thing I'm doing wrong. I put it in the liquid, then in the flour, oh. then back in the liquid, then back in the flour, and I'll tell you what that makes. A mess. Absolutely. <laughs> you hit the operative word in is. In the flour. And, and you, because that dry helps It's almost to, like walking across wet gumbo soil. Your <laughs> hands wind up about this size yep. and, and white. Well, mine do pretty much with this too, but you got to double dip it and you want to dip it in the dry, then the, then the wet, and then back in the dry. Okay. And it makes those crunchies on there that are, you oh. Know, oh, that's the best part. Oh, hurry. I'm a hurrying, I'm a hurrying. <laughs> oh, this would be your piece, John. Right oh. <laughs> I'm what did you bring a piece you? like that for, <laughs> Phyllis? Oh, shoot. And see, and you want it sizzling. You want the oil hot because you're frying it. Yeah. I don't fry many things, but this, we're frying. You got to fry this. Oh, you got to fry it. You just absolutely you just can't. That's the only way hey, you can fix it. Hand me something, and I'll scoot those around and make a better place for you. Well, what would you like? I don't know. How about that that's thing fine. right there? That's fine. You got enough room right there? Yep, that's just going to be perfect. I think it is too. Put it in here. And another secret that, that I've found, and I'm real bad, and, and you can tell John's bad because he's here with the spatula and it's kind of got me worried. <laughs> Don't turn them too quick. Yeah. You, you only actually want to turn them once. Yeah. You don't want to turn, you don't, and I can't hardly stand it. I want to like, oh, I want to look at it and turn it yeah. and then turn it again. Yeah. You don't want to do that. You want to turn it once. So you're actually going to let these fry like this probably for about five minutes. The best thing about gravy are yeah. these little uh, crumbles. Uh, well, we're going to take about a half a cup of butter. I know you don't mind that. No, 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 no. My cardiologist didn't too long uh, about it, but... He doesn't watch the show, does he? He doesn't eat this stuff. Oh. I mean, he doesn't get to sample it like I do. I know, but he doesn't watch the show. He's not going... I'm not going to get like a letter in the mail or something, am I? No, I went okay. disconnected his, <laughs> <laughs> his reception. Then we're going to put about a fourth a cup of flour. 
in that. And I like to take a whisk, John, and really get this flour. Yeah. So you don't have lumps. I've, yeah. I've made lumpy gravy. Have you ever made lumpy gravy? I've, yeah, I made lumpy gravy. I'll tell you something. Back I, one time a long time ago? I made lumpy everything at one time <laughs> or another. A little bit of salt. Lumpy oat bran. Lots of pepper. I like lots of pepper in my gravy. Sure, I hope you do. Sure. And then this is just plain old, I don't thickening gravy. I grew up yeah. calling this thickening gravy. Did you? Yep. Hey, uh. And you want to cook it, you know, make this just as brown as you as you like your gravy. If you like a white gravy, well, don't let it, you know, get so brown. I like mine pretty brown because I like that flour to be you cooked. You bet. You bet. What would prevent me from spearing one of these things right here? Well, probably that I would hit you with your on the knuckles with this uh, <laughs> thing right here. Uh huh. Yeah. Are you? You're just really anticipating. Aren't yeah, you? I really am. Now you you can spit. You do it delicately with this because I don't want you to lose a crumble. Oh, okay. And yeah. in the meantime, you put that on the plate. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep adding milk. Now I think the recipe that you all are gonna get for this says about two cups of milk. And it'll probably take about two cups of milk, but that's that's not an exact science because you're making gravy and you, ne you never exactly know how much milk it's gonna take. Yeah. Thank goodness we're at Blanchard Springs Campground where they got a nice overhang here. Oh. And I don't think anything's getting wet. No, well. we're doing pretty good. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for not looking behind me. I won't me. turn around though, no, okay? Yeah. Now see, you just want it, and as soon as it starts to get thick like that, you turn it off. And let me tell you a little secret. If it gets too thick, just add a little more milk and stir it around. People don't think you can do that. But when it first starts to, to bubble, we'll turn it off, and right. then, then it'll go ahead and finish itself. Right, out. and see, that to me, this is just perfect gravy, like this, this consistency. Yeah. But now sometimes it'll get a little thick, and you know what? You might want to serve this with uh, some mashed potatoes uh, and a big yeah. salad. And But in the meantime. So while you're tasting that, I'm going to tell the folks, this is so easy to do. And I bet you that 90% of you out there grew up eating this and, ha and have done this many times. But if you, have, if you usually do it with beef, try it with venison because it's really, really good with venison, any kind of venison. Um, I took a cup of flour and a half a cup of uh, breadcrumbs. I, that just to me adds a, adds a really good flavor to it. Uh, then I added uh, a couple of teaspoons of salt, a couple of teaspoons of pepper, a teaspoon of paprika, some garlic powder, uh, and I use smoked paprika. Mix all that up, then mix a oh, couple of eggs with some buttermilk. The secret is, get your oil hot in your pan. The secret is, put, uh, put it in the dry mixture, then the egg, then the dry mixture. And that's all you've got to do. Remember, don't turn it, put it in the hot oil, cook it on one side, only turn it once. Then when it gets done, set that aside, keep it warm, make your gravy. Does that taste like a hundred years ago? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, country really fried venison. Mm, for country people. For country folks. It just doesn't get any better than that, does it? It's good as I ever had. We don't get to eat it very often anymore, but we, every once in a while, have a bite or two. Try. You're a good girl. <laughs>